Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Hello guys, thank you so much for stopping by to another of my videos. Today I'm going to have a high-end luxury haul. I have purchased from Lancome, Charlotte Tilbury and I also have two orders from Beautylish. So maybe I'm going to start with the Beautylish because I am most excited about those. I just received them a couple of hours ago this morning. I actually was almost being woke up by the courier who was here at 7.08 a.m. in the morning. Who's coming so early to deliver your package? Not that I'm complaining, but yesterday at that time I was napping. I was having my morning sleep. But yeah, today is first day of school, so we had to wake up early to join kids with their schools and preschool. So yeah, no, I don't want to make too long of an intro. As I told you, I have two Beautylish orders and judging for the weight, this is the last one, the second one. So I'm going to start with the first one. I haven't opened it. I just cut the paper. I'm also prepared. I have a cutter. They have a standard box, so no matter how big or small it's your order, the waste is there. So this is my first order and here I have a brush that I was hunting for a while. In the middle of August, um, Sonia G had a major restock on the collection at Beautylish. So this is the Jumbo Base. So this is what the brush looks like when it's coming. So I'm taking out from the packaging. I wanted to have it mostly for foundation, but also for other base products. It's extremely soft. And you know that those brushes, usually they gain their, um, they get their final shape after you wash them. So it's new. I'm going to probably clean it with a spray and use it maybe tomorrow. I'm going to record a get ready with me. So very excited about that. My jumbo base is here. You can tell that. Surprisingly, no freebie. Usually, usually they were throwing some freebies with gift, but yeah, not this time. Maybe we have in the second order. Ooh, we have a different packaging because I've ordered something from Good Molecules. I don't remember what I ordered from them. Yeah, so no freebies. So what I ordered from um, Good Molecules is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum because believe it or not, I do not have any Hyaluronic Acid. I think I don't have, I finished the last one. I have moisturizers that contain Hyaluronic Acid but I do not have a actual serum one. So I wanted to try this one. This was six or eight dollars and you cannot go wrong with good molecule. And the second thing, it's of course more brushes. I have the Jumbo Concealer, which is the baby of the Jumbo Base, but doesn't have the same shape. It's more like tapered. This has a bit of a um, angle. I don't know if you can tell. Similar with the one from uh, BK Beauty. Oh no, my career is calling me. All right, mission accomplished. This is um, my second order that I was uh, expecting today. It's not a beauty related order. I ordered some um, aromatherapy stuff like incense sticks and the few stands to burn those sticks. So yeah, I don't think so that you are uh, interested in that. So let's move on. I don't remember where were we. So this is the Jumbo Concealer brush and the second brush that I got it's a backup for my favorite. This is the Chris Pro. Or no, sorry, this is the Blender Pro. And just as a FYI, this is what the brush looks like when uh, she gets her, she gets her shape after few washes and uses. So doesn't change so much, but it's a little bit more fluffy. I'm loving the Blender Pro so much. So. I wanted to get a backup. Now if I'm thinking, well, I want other backups, but I said, yeah, it's enough. Those are quite pricey, but hopefully there will be some left in stock for when the <laughs> gift card event it will be, I think in October, November, something like that. 
So yeah, this was the Beautylish order, sweet and short. Now let me show you what I purchased from Lancome. Also around August, uh, middle of August, they had a offer. Um, if you purchase a certain amount or over a certain amount, they are sending you a gift with purchase. So this is the gift with purchase that I got. And by the way, this was the local Lancome. It's not the Lancome.com, so check Lancome. So I went and got the Ten Idol Ultra Wear Stick. Now I was a little bit confused about the shade and I think I got a lighter one but I think I'm going to make it work. If you check right now this is a little bit too light for me and it's not mentioned here. Oh, I'm going to tell you from the packaging that this is the 110 ivory or beige porcelain as you know it I think from uh, Europe. So yeah, ivory is in USA and beige porcelain it's in um, the rest of the countries. That's interesting. This is okay. It will match me when my tan will fade. But what I am um, not very satisfied is the fact that it has a pink and a tone. So I'm usually preferring getting a warm or neutral and the tone. And the second product that I got from Lancome, it was the concealer. This I managed to match my shade. I got again the shade Ivory Base Beige Porcelain. Actually, it's the same shade, but the concealer, it's nice. It has a very huge doe foot applicator or doe foot but doesn't have that pink and the tone i find it being more neutral and i wasn't aware about that i use it once and then my friend tracy she told me that it has a smell and i double check and it has a smell similar with the um, Wet n Wild foundation, not that strong, but it has some paint smell. I'm not bothered by that, but my friend uh, who is more sensitive to fragrances, she told me that she can't bear that scent. So just be aware in case that you are sensitive to fragrances that the concealer, the Tan Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer has scent. So this one, I already tried it and I like it, the shade, it's matching me. I'm very happy to have this in my collection and I'm also going to link Instagram page for my friend Tracy and I will uh, highly recommend you to watch her because she's up to date with all new luxury releases. So go ahead and check her Instagram page. Now briefly I'm going to show you what I got in my gift with purchase. Also as a part of the gift with purchase it was this lovely pouch which I think I'm going to keep it and also has a zipper but inside it's plain. It's nice large and you can fit a lot of things including eyeshadow palettes. So what they sent me I think those were the samples. I also picked up three samples so I got the Renergy Multi Lift Cream for all skin types with SPF 15. So this is the day cream, then the eye cream from the same range, and this is the Genifique U. Um, this is the activator, um, youth activating eye and lash concentrate. Yeah, I was very interested about this. And now, uh, returning to the gifted purchase, I got this Renergy New E Multi Multi Lift Cream New E face and neck. I'm not going to open it, but it has 15 milliliters. Also, I'm excited to try this one. I'm not sure what is this. The Tan Idol Ultra Wear 24 hour wear and comfort retouch free with SPF 15. I believe this is a foundation. I'm going to check if this is not a sample from the new foundation they just launched. I have five milliliters. I have another Genifique concentrate for, I oh know this is youth activator, this is for face, five milliliters. No, this is 10 milliliters. A um, Lash Idol mascara in the travel size. 
what is this this is a absolute nourishing lip balm in honey and rose or honey in rose this i can open it oh it has just a hole a sample of their um, idol or miracle i think i'm not sure um, the perfume luckily is no la vie et belle because i cannot stand that perfume that has too much either patchouli or something else which doesn't agree with my nose and i'm not very sensitive to fragrances but i cannot stand for the life of me the smell of the la vie et belle it's sweet but not very sweet and for sure doesn't have that horrible note in my opinion just don't take it with a grain of salt if um i know many people love if la vie belle it's your favorite fragrance please don't hate me we are all different i want to all the time stress that and this is the uh, le crayon call in 01 noir it's a travel size but i heard people saying this is discontinued and the last thing that i got is a lipstick i cannot tell the shade it's too small and i have a lot of lights that are reflecting in my eyes so i'm not able to read but this is what the shade looks like i have already worn it once it's a nice neutral shade and i love the formula and believe it or not i do not own any other Lancome lipstick. So yeah, I'm very excited for my purchase. Maybe not so excited for the foundation shade Hopefully it will not look too horrible on me I think tomorrow I'm going to record a get ready with me and try the foundation with this brush to see what it looks like and also the concealer with the brush from uh, Sonia G because I have more things to show you from Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte had a sale of course during summer and she had a lot of bundles also she had mystery boxes but I wasn't so excited for that because there was a um, big palette that I could have got get with and the rest of products were not appealing to me so I said better I buy what I'm interested in. I didn't get the new concealer and the new powder yet. So while I was on vacation, I have noticed that I don't have a complete face palette. Hence, I got smaller palettes, but I wanted a face palette that will have everything. So I remember her Insta look in a palette. So this is, is the Sunset Dreamscape love the packaging i haven't opened it i'm dying to use it i have it for two weeks so this is going to be tested tomorrow so we have a face bronzer two cheek products a highlighter and three eyeshadows but you can interchange and use the face products for your eyes and vice versa so i'm very excited that finally i have a single palette that i can pack with me on vacation i was very very much willing to get my hands on her double-sided eyeliners so i finally got one this is this and you have a like a copper in the dark purple and i'm very happy about that because i lost my urban decay i think the rockstar was a little bit more maroon but this is this and this is the other side so this double-ended liner will complement the palette and it's also travel friendly because you have two liners in one so yay very excited about that and actually in the bundle so i got the the palette on the bundle it was also included a hyaluronic happy kiss color balm so i have this in the shade happy petal you could pick up your shade on the hyaluronic happy kiss i'm not going to twist it open because what you twist it will not go down so just FYI. Now I have another lipstick. I'm not sure. I think this was a gift with purchase. Oh, I think this was the part of the bundle. So this is in the shade 
Everlasting Blossom, as I already mentioned. And I have uh, two more lipsticks like this. Oh no, this is a little bit smashed. I have it even swatch it. The color is perfect for summer. It's a little bit more deep. Okay, and has a nice sweet scent like all her other lipstick. Okay, I have the one that are bangs. I have the Pillow Talk and the um, Walk of No Shame. So this is like a um, creamy. It has more pigment to it, so it's not the same. Okay, so this is matte. Nice. And the last product that I got, and I'm very, very excited for that. I have just seen my friend Ilinka. She mentioned that she loves that one. And I got the Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Oyster Pearl. And why I got this one? Because I remember back in time, Jessica Brown was raving about this. Actually, this is the new name. This Oyster Pearl was before called Marie Antoinette. So I remember she was like a broken record mentioning the Marie Antoinette shade. So yeah, it was hot when my order arrived and it melted, but now now it's solidified or how to say this is this very very beautiful i had two samples i got the wonder glow instant soft focus beauty glow primer and a pillow talk push-up lashes very very tiny i think i'm going to save it for my next year vacation i have another uh, travel size for this so maybe i'm going to do a full short tilbury face but I need to get, grab the concealer and the powder because yeah after I have seen Wayne trushing her powder even though I have seen good reviews about the, that powder now I really want it but yeah if there is some particular product that you would like me to do a review please let me know maybe I'm going to do a wear test for the foundation and also for the concealer from Lancome this is all for today thank you so much for taking the time to watch don't forget that the most beautiful makeup is your own smile. And also guys, because we are speaking about that, please be kind with each other.